What does this tournament mean for Osorio and his future? Well, check this out. Uh, Mexico can grab the you know, a spot in Russia before they go to the, before they go to the Confederations Cup. Um, if Mexico wins this tournament, it will buy pride and, uh, and a great honor for the country. But for Juan Carlos Osorio, since you mentioned, and we all know that he's an, always in the eye of the storm in terms of the fans and the press and the players and the ex-players, this tournament can buy peace for Osorio for the whole year. Does peace have a price? <laughs> Obviously not. This is going to be an incredible situation for Osorio to work in peace for the whole year between confederations and the World Cup. And that is priceless. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to buy some time in peace because there's no such a thing when you're a Mexican coach or the coach of the Mexican <laughs> national team. Because this is the thing. They want you to win. They want you to play attractive soccer, and they want you to uh, convince the fans. So that, that's really hard. That's really hard. So I think this is a great opportunity for Juan Carlos Osorio. Um, one of the things that is very interesting to me is that former players, media, former national team coaches, they don't agree with how Juan Carlos Osorio is managing the team. A lot of rotations, a lot of uh, players coming in, coming out. I liked it. You know, I opened my mind. And I said, okay, he's doing right. He's accomplished things as the, that the other coaches didn't. And now uh, he's with this new style of rotating players, uh, he, he's giving us that. So it, it seems like they're just waiting in Mexico for him to make a, another mistake mm -hmm. to kick him out of that chair. Mm. So this is a biggest, or the biggest opportunity for Juan Carlos Osorio and the players if they want to support him, uh, you know, to make a statement and say, okay, this is my job. I'm the right guy to coach this team. You know who doesn't give peace a chance? The Mexican <laughs> Federation. Uh, and I, I look at Juan Carlos Osorio. I, I, I tell you right now, I give it 50-50 that he's actually coaching in the World Cup next wow. summer for Mexico. Despite all the incredible success, but you've talked about it, the pressure, not just for him, for any coach of that team. And one little thing, and maybe not even one little thing, maybe somebody wakes up in the morning and says, you know what, in order for Mexico to be good, we're going to make a change. It wouldn't surprise anybody here. It wouldn't yes. surprise anybody out there. And you know who it wouldn't surprise? Juan Carlos Osorio. I think he is uh, a fatalist when it comes to this job. He's going to make uh, as much good as he possibly can and do his job. Uh, and he's doing it very, very well right mm -hmm. now. But he understands that some morning he may get up and for whatever reason, he might not be the coach anymore. That would be a pity, but it would not be surprising to anyone. When you're uh, the coach of that team, the advice is rent. Don't <laughs> buy. 